So Daryl. Yes. How do you keep it on the edges? Well, on the edges, since we've already previously primed, the edges tend to actually take care of themselves. You, you really purposely want some of this to run over the edges so it does create that 3D look that really is appealing when you're doing something that has dimension to it. Like this particular board, several inches thick, an inch and a half perhaps. Um, and so you really want to see it roll over the edge to some degree. Um, that being said though, by priming it and really making sure that the substrate is prepared for color, you will lose some, but you will re retain enough that it will actually look really, really cool. Okay. I have a question too, your brush marks, do they self-level out? If you do this early, they will actually fairly disappear. However, the other side of that coin is that you can use that technique to your advantage later in the game to leave some of them marks if you're looking to really have something that's texturous more than just um, you know a, a solid color or something if you really want to get something else out of it then you can actually use that to your advantage so I'm doing some general movement right now it's kind of early in the game some of this may disappear but a lot of it will give it some really cool rock striation movement and that's kind of what I'm trying to achieve at this moment. I don't want it to look just like a, a poured color. I want it to look like uh, a gem or a jewel that's been broke open and has texture and movement and life to it. What about all the bubbles that are in the epoxy? Do they go away? Bubbles by themselves sometimes will. A lot of people like to use an air gun. Um, I myself use a torch only because I just kind of worked that way from the beginning and trained myself to light the torch more. There are circumstances that I can imagine would probably be better to not have a torch. Um, I know a lot of people ask me if it's flammable. Well, to some degree this it can be, but more correctly, it's not that it's just going to catch on fire. It really isn't a petroleum-based product. However, if you are not very, very, very careful with a torch, you can, in fact, burn this color and pit it. So, um, that being said, I like to get rid of the bubbles uh, fairly early on, or at least at some point before the product is too hard to really work. And I've heard that using a torch, if you do happen to burn it a little bit, it actually creates some sort of effect, correct? It does, as long as you're not actually physically burning it. If you, if you use the torch in such a way where it blends and melds the colors without actually burning a pitted hole, um, or making it look extremely dull or like something's